it's Farmer Monica coming to you from your school garden. And this morning, I wanted to talk to you about the plant life cycle. Now plants have a life cycle just like humans do and just like insects do. And the plant life cycle starts out with a very special thing. Do you know what the first step is in the plant life cycle? It starts with a seed. I'm going to show you a very special seed from one of the plants and the whole life cycle, the plant life cycle, one of our plants here in the garden. And it's this plant right here, the borage plant. Now this, in my hand, is the seed of a borage plant. So what we will do to start off the plant life cycle, because it all begins with the seed, is we will take the seed and like the other plants that we planted in the garden, we'll make a little hole, we'll drop the seed in, we'll cover it with some soil. And then when it has the right amount of air and water and warmth, the seed will begin to germinate. The seed will be activated and will begin to germinate. So the seed is the first part of the life cycle. Germination is the second. And this right here, this little sprout is the third. So this is the third step of the plant life cycle here. This little baby borage plant, which we call a sprout. Then the fourth stage is when the sprout starts turning into a mature plant, as we can see here. The fifth stage is when the plant starts to produce flowers, as we can see here, these really beautiful borage flowers. And then the fifth stage will be if the flowers are pollinated by bees or butterflies or even flies or me or you if you are in the garden, maybe even some wind. The flower, after it's pollinated, will start to produce seeds. Then eventually, the last part of the life cycle is the flower will begin to die and the seeds will be ready to either be harvested by me or by you, or they will fall directly back into the soil and a new plant will begin to grow. And that is the plant life cycle. Now the last thing that I wanna show you is that life cycle happened with one of our plants here in the garden. You might remember this big loofah vine that was growing all over the fence here. Uh, that loofah vine has now died back and it's left its loofah fruit here on the vine. So this plant in particular, once the flower is pollinated, it produces a fruit, this fruit right here. And inside we can see the mature seeds. So these seeds are ready to be collected and dried and then stored so we can plant them next year and see if we can grow a whole new loofah vine. So that's just a really cool example of the plant life cycle um, and the seeds that are ready to be collected in our garden right now. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a really awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.